Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Caps and Monster Coliseum. In the last episode, we uh, had a very tough battle against Bakura. And it is quarter one in the morning. Ten to one, actually. Ten to one in the morning right now. I should be in bed, but sod it. I'm, I want to finish off Area 3 right now. And our last opponent is uh, Marek Ishtar here at Guru's Garden. So uh, let's go and take on Marek, finish off Area 3. Edit these videos, and then I'm going to go to bed, because I bloody well need it at this point. There's Marek. Yeah. Those beige trousers. What can I say? I'm telling you it's not beige, I guess. It's all like a lighter beige. Anyway, here is the playing field right here. There it is. Loads of blocks. Nothing but combining blocks. With all different types. Very interesting. sense an unbelievable force within his soul. Pharaoh, I've been waiting for this tool for millennia, and I won't wait a second longer. I see. If this is a duel that's been destined since the ancient past, then there is no way I can avoid this duel, even if I wanted to. Perish, Pharaoh. It's time to duel, Merrick. Yes, it's time to duel, Pharaoh. Pharaoh! Indeed! Well, at least we got the name for the part. Pharaoh! There you go, that's what it is. I don't know if I add anything else to that, I have no idea. Right, come on! You've given me one twice! Now you give me two. God damn it. I have no idea what Marek's gonna do! Oh, well he's gone second anyway, because he's a numpty! What an idiot! Should've gone first! Never mind. Right, what is Marek gonna do? He's got a dark, a dark, a dark, a dark, a water, a water, and an electric, or a thunder. Okay, interesting. All right, so I have bought some uh, monsters off screen. Uh, I bought two, uh, I bought a Prisman, I know that much because he oozes aesthetic. Um, I also brought uh, two Jennings. And a crocodilus. So there we go. So what was it? It was uh, two water, one electric, and a bunch of dark. So for water, we have wind for that. So that's fine. For the electric, we have an earth. Um, I th Do you know what? I think it's time for two Eddie King Rex to come back for a battle, I think. I think it's time for two Eddie King Rex. There he is. Level three, two Eddie King Rex is right in, the, right in there. All right. The waters... The waters. Water is weak to wind, so I feel like we're gonna give Wing Dragon going in the f right in there. There you go. We get Wing Dragon of the Earth Sat's heads and a Harpy Lady, and uh, the rest of it are gonna be light types. So let's go for uh, Petite Angel Prisman because he uses aesthetic. Um, Fear Reflection number two. Two of them. Yeah. Why not? All right. That's the team. List of bullshit goes back to... Well, list of bollocks, actually. Goes back to where it should be. Alright. I didn't want to put it there. I wanted to put it the other side. Damn it. Alright. Let's see. It's going to be interesting, this is. Very interesting. What is going to happen here? We have three wind, four light, and an earth. The earth for that thunder type he's got. Alright. My turn to get this up because Marek is a numpty. Pass it on. All right then. It's time to start. Let's go. So what has he got? He has seven monsters. Kanakabuto, great. Ryukishin, Needle Ball, another Kanakabuto, Zoa. That's gonna be an issue. Ryuki, Ryukishin and Bolt Penguin. All right. So I feel like the oh, he's got like one of each side. So I may need to do the same thing here. So, yep. Wing Dragon with the Earth's head is first. It's a pretty, pretty good monster altogether. And uh, Fear Reflection number one. We'll bring him in as well. Who's mine the duck? Oh, that's me. That's two out of King Rex. He's going straight in. Straight into the team right here. And uh, I guess we'll bring in a... Uh, we'll bring in a Petite Angel. There you go. Half the monsters are already on the board, Marek. Let's see what you're going to do. 
Right, Marek's turn. I can send you to the Shadow Realm right away. But what's the fun in that? Let's enjoy this game for now. Let's enjoy the game indeed. This doesn't look like a Shadow game at all. There's no purple. Okay, there's kind of purple. I see the kind of purple there, but it's not much of it. It's like, this is... This is weak Shadow Realm, Marek. Just saying, the Shadow Realm's weak, bro. Weak. Weak as hell. Alright, my turn. Here I go. We have nearly full AP here, so we're going to bring in uh, Aesthetic. Right here, good old Prisman. And then uh, Wing Dragon Guy in the Fortress, number one. We'll bring him in. My other Fiend Reflection. Oh, that's not a Fiend Reflection. Did so I bring in Harpy Lady? Nice. Okay, cool. We got Harpy Lady in there. Fear Reflection again. Alright, we have 200 AP to make our move. I feel like my first move should be trying to get 200 King Rex close to that Thunder Monster. I feel like that should be my first move, but I, I need to move Wing Dragon first. Not Wing Dragon, sorry. Fear Reflection. Let's move you over here for the moment. Alright. Alright. And the Wing Dragon with the Ursat's heads will put you over here, because... You're actually really good in trying to attack, so we could pick off a few monsters with him. Pretty good all together. See, I'm just going to make sure I got it right. So I got wind for uh, water. He's got his water monsters there, his Kani Kabutos. we got to be wary of Zoa when he brings that out, though. Because Zoa, I'm going to... Oh. Yeah, like, kind of right now. We need to worry about right now. Okay, then. Zoa's in. Here we go. So we'll put uh, 20 King Rex over here for the moment. Seems like a decent idea. Wing Dragon with the Earth Hat's head. I'm going to move you a little bit further. There we go. I really need to move Fear Reflection over. So there we go. Just to, just to get him into the battle. Prisman. You can't do anything at the moment. But it, you can if I move Harpy Lady. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. There we go. Harpy Lady has moved. So now Prisman can move. All right then. Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. You are actually you could actually uh, attack up from a long way, which is really good. So I'm gonna have my turn here. Got a nice spread. Needs to be nicer though. I'm gonna try and flank Marek. Trying to uh, see what moves he's gonna make here. There's a needle ball there, and I don't like it very much. All right. His last monster released, so he's got all his monsters out right now. This guy's Ryukushin's. Oh, Ryukushin's gonna be a problem immediately. That can move a lot. What have I got over there to combat it? I have a wing drag. Oh, I have a fiend reflection. That's not gonna do at all. We need to bring a light monster in for him. Prisman! It's up to you, good sir. And Petite Angel, I guess. We'll move you in as well. You can move a lot, actually, Petite Angel, so I'll give you that one. Right, the dragon with the Ursat's heads, you're going to move over... Ooh, actually, I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm going to see what that Ryukushin can do. Oh, sorry, Needle Ball. So you can move, like, what, here? So you can go one, two. You still can't attack. All right, that's good. Ryukushin, oh, God. One, two, three, one, two. You can't attack. All right. Move the Wicked Dragon in. All right. Got some power in right here. Got some power. Harpy Lady. Can you two do anything with Harpy Lady? One, two, th yeah. Oh, no. Hang on. No, you can't move there. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, nice. Needle ball. One, two. One, two. Ah, you can kind of attack, I guess. Kind of. All right. We'll keep Harpy Lady where she is for the moment. We do not want to be losing anyone this early. All right. Two-headed King Rex can move this way. It's pretty decent altogether. Winged, uh, sorry, Fiend Reflection. Sorry, Fiend Reflection. Move you one further. There we go. All right. So now we can start doing some flanking attacks. Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. You can't really do anything right now. Actually, you really can't do anything. Jesus. All right. Well, I'm going to keep you where you are. But Fear Reflection number two, you can move in. A little bit. There we go. I could move Harpy Lady. Can I move Harpy Lady? Yes, I can. I can do this. There we go. That might be a bit better. Okay. All right, Marek. What are you going to do? 
still haven't worried about, like, his Zoa. And Zoa's got to be one of his strong... It's his strongest monster. Oh, he's actually can attack. Oh. Oh, good lord. That is a lot of damage from Ryukushin. Oh, good lord. Oh, right. That thing needs to die. I still have a chance. That thing needs to die right now. Right now, that thing needs to die. Right, that can't attack. That can't attack. That cannot attack. That can't attack. All right. It's time for me to pick off his monsters right now. It's time to pick them off. Ryukushin is... That's the first thing that needs to go right now. Fever Reflection, you can't do a thing, so I might as well move you upwards. Harpy Lady, you can... How much damage can you actually do? You can't kill it, surely. No, nowhere near. Ugh. Okay. Alright. Well, the Wicked Dragon can attack there. I'm gonna attack Needle Ball for a bit of damage. Um, it's not a bad plan, I guess. Yeah, because I can't really do anything else. I mean, I could move in and actually attack his uh, Kanikabuto, which is actually a better idea because of the advantage. So there we go. Bit of damage there on Kanikabuto. That doesn't stop my plans. I'm sure it doesn't. All right, fear reflection. You can't do a thing here, but I can move you in a little. That was a bad idea as well. I should not have done that at all. All right, I think Harpy Lady is about to bite the dust here. I feel like Harpy Lady is about to bite the dust. That's not good. But I'm going to put Prisman behind her. Because aesthetic, and he's awesome. Um, also, 200 King Rex is moving. Ooh, actually, hang on, that's a bad idea because... Uh, yep, Dart, yep, yeah, no, 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 that's a bad idea. Because Dart beats her, so that's a bad idea for me to do that. Alright. Uh, Wing Dragon going to the fortress. Can you attack? Ooh, actually, I think you might be able to attack Ryukushin. You can! Oh, oh I can get the kill on Ryukushin. Okay, hang on. Harpy Lady will die, but her death will not that be for naught. Yeah, her death will not be... Oh, no, I can't move her! Oh, God! Uh, I don't like that very much at all. All right. I'm going to lose Harpy Lady here, and I don't like that very much at all. You're attacking with the other one. Okay, then. Interesting strategy. You going for Prisman, I wonder? You are going to go for Prisman, aren't you? Because you're a git. Mm, is that all your monster can do? Oh, no. Than I thought. Yeah, no, he can do... No, well, okay, that monster, no. Right, Prisman's going to take a hit here. Oh, Prisman is a monster. Love Prisman. Look at that defense. You ain't getting through that. Prisman is awesome. Right, you're attacking Wing, wing Dragon Guard in the Fortress. Bolt Penguin. Alright. Once two headed King Rex gets in there, he will destroy him. My monster's not beaten yet. Yep. Yeah, not beaten yet. Be wary of your AP, mate. Just saying. Yep, yeah, your Needle Ball's dead. Alright, so Needle Ball's dead and one of his Ryukushins is dead. We will be able to take back this this run right here. Yeah. Alright, my turn. I was the first one to lose a monster, but he's about to lose two. So it's fine by me. First off is the aesthetic driven Prisman. Take out Ryukushin. Thank you very much. Okay. One down. One down. I want to try and move to Eddie King Rex in to attack Bolt Penguin. I could move to Eddie King Rex in here. Oh no, that's not Tuna King Rex. I can move, I can move Fear Reflection in here, actually. And, uh, deal some damage to his other Ryukushin. We're gonna do it. We're doing it. We need the damage. And I think Wing Dragon Guard in the Fortress can actually kill him off. That doesn't stop yeah, 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 okay. That doesn't stop your plans. Does this, though? Alright, Bolt Penguin. Ah, okay. Not enough damage. But I can move backwards. And, uh... Destroy good old, uh, your, your, uh, second Ryukushin. There we go. Two down. All right. There we go. Now we're making progress. We are making progress right now. We are kicking Marek square in his perfectly formed ass. He's got a nice ass. What can I say? 
<laughs> Just saying. Alright. Well, for your reflection, you can do bugger all here on Night Snow. Sorry, but you can't. But the winged dragon, though. He can kill... No, he can't kill Needleball. Damn. Alright. Still fine, though. That's a good amount of damage. That's a good amount of damage. Don't get too confident. What, a bit like what you've been doing at the moment? Bugger off. Alright. Turn end. Your turn, Marek. I've destroyed two of your monsters. Your two of your light monsters are gone. Of course he will. All right. What we got? Oh, he's going for Fiend Refl Oh, that's Zoa. Oh. Fiend Reflection number two. All right, I have two wind monsters there, but they're not going to do anything against dark types. Ah! You're attacking. You're, at you're killing off Fiend Reflection number... Oh, God. All right. Well, there goes for your reflection number two. Now, do I attack Needle Ball or do I finish off? Do I try and get some damage on Zoa? That's the key here. Um, are you sure about that? That's a really bad idea, Marek. You do realize one, I have the advantage, and two, Twenty King Rex is a beast when it comes to power and defense. He is a beast. It's time for you to lose some more. All right. So, Petite Angel can actually move in and destroy Needle Ball. I don't have to worry about that. So, Needle Ball, gone. Gone. Defeated. Dead. Dunsky. Defeated. Don't care. Gone. Right. Now. The Wicked Dragon with the Ursat says, I need to stay here. And he's, he's going to take a hit, but I'm going to attack Zoa. It's a decent hit, to be honest. It's a very decent hit. Right, now, now what to do? Well, my Fiend Reflection can actually attack Bolt Penguin. It's actually really good. There we go. Bolt Penguin, take some damage. It's not much, I admit, but you will get some weakness right here. From my next attack. From the two-headed King Rex. I could use Foot Stomp, Sod Foot Stomp. We're going for the attack right here. And it will finish off Bolt Penguin. All right. We're getting the advantage now. We are getting the advantage against Marek. We just killed two more of his monsters. Ha! I guess you have some skin. Of course I'm the Pharaoh, damn it. Right, aesthetic, you're moving in. Go on, Prisman. What you got there? You got a can of Kabuto there. Ah, you Actually I don't even I don't know I don't think you can attack with that. I don't think you can attack with that. <laughs> but I can attack you. Go, Wing Dragon, guide in the fortress. Finish off Kanikabuto. Yes. All right then. He's down to three. Mo well, he's down to two monsters actually. He's got one Kanikabuto and a Zoa. That's all he's got. This is going pretty well so far. All right. Nice. Enemy turn. Let's see what he's gonna do. He's got two monsters and that's it. He's running away to attack. Prisman, you can't kill the aesthetic. You can't kill him. Yeah. He might kill it with Kanikabuto, though. And that's bad if he does that. No. Right. Here we go. Next turn. Victory's in my reach. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. First off, Winged Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress. You can do bugger all here. That's a bit of a shame. Alright, I'll move you here for the moment. This is a decent place to put it, I think. Prisman. Come on, Prisman. Deal a lot of damage to Zoa. That's a lot of I'll take it. I will take that damage on Zoa. Thank you very much. Go, Prisman. Alright, now to do with this git bag. We can move backwards and attack. That's pretty decent, actually. Petite Angel can't do anything against Kanikabuto, or Zoa for that matter. But I can do this. So I can strike Kanikabuto. Deal some pretty decent damage to him. So there you go, 98 damage. Pretty good. His Zoa is on his last legs. I have a Fiend Reflection ready. All is well right now. Okay, we're going to move Fiend Reflection forward. What can Zoa do? Um, Alright, so you can move one. 
Oh, gee, he can attack three. Two, one, two. No, he can't attack. He can't attack to the King Rex. Move him in, then. All righty, then. End my turn. You're probably going to kill Prisman, which is a shame because he uses aesthetic. Just saying. Just in case no one knew that already, but yeah, he does. He's great. Sorry, Prisman. No! All right, Prisman's gone. Right, that's Zoa. That's Zoa. It's going to be a problem. Kalikabuta. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Give it a go. Your Kalikabuta is dead. Petite Angel is... Just doesn't care. It's like, oh, 77 damage. Don't give a damn about it. All right, what we need to worry about now is trying to kill this Zoa. Killing this Zoa is the key here now to victory. And Wing Dragon Guide of the Fortress can do nothing against Zoa. But I know something that can. Theme Reflection number two, come on. Yes, there you go, Zoa. We've, we've won. We've won. Theme Reflection number two beats Zoa. Zoa is gone. Lots of experience. That's a level up. That is a level up for Fiend Reflection number two. There we go. And it's time to end this because you didn't move Kanikabuto and you're an idiot. Because here comes Petit Angel. Moving in. There we go. And decent amount of damage. I still have a Wicked Dragon with the Ursat's head just waiting in the wings. And you didn't move. You're Kanikabuto. You dummy. Oh, that's it. That, that's it. This will finish you. And that is the end of Area 3. There we go. We didn't lose too much there. That was actually pretty good. Too many King Rex survived, you know. That's all that matters. Ah, I've never been so humiliated in a duel. Well, get used to it. Because I win. And all that matters when it comes to this is obviously Yugi's face and then victory player. That's what we're doing this entire thing for, right? You know, 15 parts, victory player. It's all that matters. What? I lost! This duel of destiny was in my favor, Merrick. Why? Why did I lose to this amateur of a pharaoh? As long as you are controlled by the shadows, you will never be able to defeat me. Ah, just you wait, pharaoh! Pharaoh! Indeed. A nice experience for the Wicked Dragon of the Ursat's head. That's going to be a level up as well. There you go. Level 3 for the Wicked Dragon. Very nice. I still miss my level 4 Fire Reaper, though. Ah, Bakura, you're a git. Anyway, it's time for some monster point earning. Look at that. Nearly 500 monster points. And, ooh, we're going to get a level up for 2 Eddie King Rex and Winged Dragon going to the Fortress number 1. Very nice. Nearly a level up for our symbol. That's level 3 for the Winged Dragon Guy in the Fortress. And level 4 for 200 King Rex. Why am I surprised? Or why am I not surprised? Alright. Well, it's got to be Zoa. It has to be Zoa at this point. And I feel like I want to take a Ryukushin as well. So there we go. Those are the two we're taking. Zoa and Ryukushin. Boom. Done. Those are the two that really made a big impact on this. You know, they really did. So, without the way, we're going to be uh, overwriting our save right here and hoping that both recordings I've done today have not buggered up. I'm hoping that. If not, then I'm going to have to stay up a little bit longer. But it's quarter past one right now. I want to edit these, process these while I'm in bed, and go to sleep. It's just the way it is, you know. If, it, if anything, it proves my dedication to you guys. I'm not drunk, but I've had a few drinks, you know. So, like, usually when you've had a few drinks... And you're home, all you want to do is sleep. That's about it. But anyway, area three, clear. Very nice indeed. And now we move on to area four. In the next episode, we'll be uh, taking on maybe Shardy, maybe. Yami Bakura. There we go. Yami Marek is here as well, with a wind type of all things. Uh, Ishizu and Seto Kaiba. So in the next episode, folks, we'll be taking on one of these members of area four. Why Shardy is there, I don't know. I'll see you then.